morning boys and girls. How are you doing today? I am so excited about our art project today. And our art project comes from Genesis. And you know how Genesis talked about God created the sun and the moon and the water and the fish, the seeds. He created everything. He created colors. He did so much. And you know, the first art project we did was on painted paper. And we used all of God's, so many of God's beautiful colors to do those painted papers. Then we made the butterflies that God created. And then we made the feet, feet, the fish under the sea. And those were beautiful, beautiful colors of fish. And then last time, we painted his beautiful flowers. Well, this time we're going to paint the sun and the moon, and I think it will be great. I want to, t our art project today is inspired by Alma Woodsley Thomas, and she is an abstract artist, and we're going to do a sun and waves. And let me tell you a little bit about her. She is a fascinating woman. Um, she, she, she was born in Georgia in 1891. She died in Washington, D.C. in 1978. And in 1924, she earned her master's degree of art and education from Columbia. At the age of 69, after 38 years, career in Washington, C, in Washington, D.C. as an artist, Alma began to paint seriously. She would soon become to be regarded as a master of color painting. She loved color. She frequently talked about watching the leaves and flowers tossing in the wind as though they were singing and dancing. To learn more about Alma Thomas, there is a website I've posted on your sheet that, be, that's, that you can print out, that you can click on, and it goes and tells you a lot about her. I hope that you do that, because she's, she, she's just a fascinating woman. And also, you can go to YouTube and click on YouTube and put her name in, and it has some great videos. I think you're going to love it. Here is one of her abstract paintings right here, and it's called The Eclipse. You see the beautiful colors she uses? Well, it's the sun moving across to make the eclipse. And she became fascinated with space. And there was a time, Snoopy was one of the space machines they used, and she called one of her pa uh, paintings a uh, Snoopy. And she would look at, from, she would take pictures and look from, the, like from Snoopy down and see the earth and all these colors and she would put them together to create these beautiful works. And I think you're gonna enjoy it. But what I want to do is go over a couple of things with you first before we actually start painting. When you click onto the video, you will be able to see underneath the video a link where you can go to get this instruction page. It has everything you need, some paint colors that you might want. It will also have directions on how to draw it. And also, it will have different ways to teaching you how to make the different strokes. All that will be on the handout you'll be able to download and look at. So, let's get started. You're going to need, of course, paper towels. You're going to make sure that your table is uh, covered with paper. And you want to make sure you're wearing an old shirt or a short sleeve shirt. And pull your sleeves up. Uh, you're going to need water to clean your brushes. Now these are the paint colors. You've got light blue, medium blue, dark blue, a deep purple. You're going to have an orange, and I would say on the orange when you add your white and the yellow, add a little bit of orange because you want it a little bit darker than just a regular yellow orange and it helps bring out the painting which I'll show in a minute and then you want a darker yellow it's almost orange but it's more of a darker uh, ye yellow and then you're going to want teal you're going to want a little green and this is a lime green that I made up just uh, the green with a lot of ye extra yellow and white to get this uh, this real pretty lime color 
And then I've got a little bit of extremely light, light, light. I don't know if you can see it or not. A very light color of teal with white. That's kind of mixed it up. Is you want a little bit of that at the end. And you're going to want only two brushes. You're going to want a half inch brush, flat brush, and a fourth of an inch flat brush. And that's all that you're going to need to do our uh, art lesson today. Now, this is what we're going to make. You know, God made the sun and the stars and uh, oceans. And so here is an ocean wave. And here are the sunbursts that we're going to put together. It looks kind of hard, doesn't it? But it's not. It's real easy to do if you follow the directions that I'm getting ready to show you in a few minutes. One of the things about oceans, if you go and look at pictures, when you look at the ocean, you'll notice that on the ocean, the very top of it, it's going to be kind of white. It's got a little blue in it. And then as the ocean turns around, you'll see a darker blue and then even darker. And this is kind of like that dark purple. Then it starts turning to, to teal and then a lighter teal. And then the sunburst, you know, you've got your yellow and oranges. And then I put green over here because when you look at the sun sometimes and it shoots through the sun, through the ocean, this, see the sun, this is the sun and it is shooting through that wave and you can see pictures, actual photographs of the sun coming through the waves and when it does that, it creates all these beautiful colors. And then also the sea sometimes has some green in it, so I put some green up here just for contrast and it's gonna be easy. Now, let me show you some strokes. Now I'm gonna take a large brush and I'm going to, you're gonna make a stroke. When you start one side type of stroke, you wanna keep that stroke all the way around. If you look at this, I've got my blue and I'm doing the same stroke all the way around. And then I might decide I wanna put the same stroke in another color right here. And then I'm gonna put some line strokes. It doesn't mind if you put double your lines or double your, your strokes, but you're gonna be using these two brushes. And these are the strokes, and it'd be good if you practice those strokes before you get started today on this uh, art project. And so I'm just gonna go down, down. And the best thing about it, as you use your paint and you go down, you're, you start running out of paint and it creates another look. Now here's a, uh, some, another line that you'll be doing. It'd be just a long line, just like this. And I'd put one over here and get closer. See how I'm getting closer to it? You can do that. And then I'll just decide I might want to do a longer on this side. This is so easy to do. And I'm going to put another one here. This is just a fun one. And see how it's starting to lighten up? That's good. That'll give your, uh, your painting a flow to it. And then we're going to go to your, your, one, uh, your half fourth inch brush and you're gonna do the same exact strokes except it's smaller. So, you've got that, just a little dashes with it. See how I'm doing that? If you wanna add more paint, you can, but you don't have to. Just like that. Then we'll come up here and get real close. I'm kinda of doing it side by side and not just random, but side by side, side by side and then a line, a line just like that. And then I'm going to just do some little short, and you can make them like dots, like that. Or I can make them just little lines like that. Now doesn't that look easy? I know you're gonna be able to do this art project. And it's so much fun and so relaxing. So let's get started. Now you're going to take your uh, 12 by 18 paper and you're going, to, um, you're going to make a 12 by 12 sheet and what you can do without having to measure, just bring it all the way over to the side like that and cut across just like that and then you have a 12 by 12. Now if you want to make a 10 by 10 or 8 by 8 that will be fine too, but I find the 12 by 12 and the 10 by 10 work well with those size brushes that we're going to use. 
Well, I want to introduce you to my artists today. These are my instructors. I'm showing them what to do, and they're showing you what to do. And they have done a great job every time we've done our art classes. This is um, Joy. Hello. And this is Zoe. Hello. And we are so glad you're joining us today for this great art lesson. Simple, easy, but it looks like it's a lot of hard work. Now, let's start drawing our picture. Now, there's a couple of steps that you'll need to follow. First, we're gonna take a pencil, we're gonna do a very light cross. And watch what I do. You're gonna kind of look at where the middle might be. And I'm gonna think, I'm thinking it's about right here. You don't have to be exact, you don't have to measure, just kind of guess, oh, there's my middle. But if you feel like you gotta measure, go right ahead and do that. So I'm gonna put a, a little mark here and I'm just gonna go, a light, light cross. There's a line, and then I'll go across to make it look like a cross. Just, just like that. Just as light as I can do it. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on the video, but just a light cross, just like that. Now, let's make a circle. And you're going to make your circle more so, I guess it's going to be uh, offset in the middle of the cross. Now, if you feel like you can't make a circle with your hand, you can always get uh, a little round cup or something. And I would say that the cross would be, the circle would probably be two and a half by two, about two, in, two and a half inches wide. But I always like to just, it's always better if you can just do it on your own. So, I'm going to show you how to do it and just let you see how it looks offset. Now, I'm going to do a little bit darker than this so I can see it when I get ready to paint. So, I'm going to go around, just like that. And if I feel like I need to make it a little bit more round, I can do that. And you see how it's off-centered a little bit? It's more on this side than it is on that side. And you're going to want your circle to be a little bit, you know, because that's going to be the eye of the, of the wave. So you're going to want it to be a little bit bigger than that. So you don't want it to be little, like this. You want it a good size, okay? Good size circle. And you want it all centered. Now we're going to make a comma. And we're going to take we're going to go about right here. You know a comma looks kind of like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it and we're going to bring it. We're going to go around and we're going to stop about right here. So watch what I do. We'll go around just like that. And I'm going to stop it about right there. You can't believe it, we're almost finished drawing this. Now, we're going to do a sideways comma. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to break. Now watch what I do because this is, we're going to make a kind of a big a comma. We're going to go up here and we're going to go around and we're going to go all the way almost to the very top of this and come back down and end it just like that. We're just going to end it right there because all that is going to be far more away. So watch what I do. I'm going to take it about here. I'm going to go around, and I'm going to go all the way up to the top, and come down, just like that. You see, you see a wave now, can't you? Now, we're going to make the sunburst. And I want to watch, I want you to watch closely about the sunburst because to make it look like a sunburst and not straight lines, you want to kind of do it at an angle. So watch, I'm going to start a, a sunburst right here. Then I'm going to take it as an angle and go up that way. And here, I'm going to take it as an angle, move this up by the way. And I'm going to make it another angle. And then I'm going to take it and make another angle. And another angle. Another angle. And you want to put it like this might be too far apart, but it's okay that I did that. It'll still look beautiful when I finish. Go here and do another angle. And here, and do another angle. 
another angle, and I'm going to go all the way up, about right there. I think that's perfect. I can tell you're doing a very good job. And the bigger your angles are, the less you have to paint. The tinier they are, the more angle, more paint you'll use in your strokes. But that's okay, It'll make it beautiful. Whatever you wanna do, it's gonna be gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Now we have three more commas to do. So watch what I do. I'm gonna come here. And this is making the inside of the waves where we'll put the different colors in. So we're gonna pick here, and we're gonna go around. And that's one, two, three. So we end up with, we get three, and that ends up with one, two, three, four commas right here. See if you have four commas now. One, two, three, four. See if you have four commas when you finish. You have four commas? All right, now we are ready to paint. Now it's time to start painting. We've got our two brushes and then we've got our paper towel that we're going to be using to clean our brush with. But just remember when we clean our brush with the water, make sure you get all that water out of your brush and we'll talk about it again in a few minutes. So I'm gonna take my smallest brush right here and that's my 1 4th inch brush and we're gonna start out and do this outside line and we're gonna do it in our lightest, we're gonna do it in our lightest color right here. Now when you the sun is coming through the ocean, the ocean wave, at the very top, it's gonna to be kind of white and frothy, but it's also got that blue in it. So we're gonna, if you go look at photographs, you'll notice it's the white blue color. So we're gonna do this color right here. So let's watch what I do. I'm gonna start out with my, like I said, my smallest brush. I'm gonna dip my brush in the paint and I'm gonna do little lines and I'm gonna start with this right here. Let's see if I can do this like this. And I'm just going to do little marks, just like that. See how I'm doing just that little mark? Just like that. And I'm going to do it. Well, every now and then I'm going to stick my brush. It doesn't have to be loaded with paint every time you do it. I'm left-handed. I'm trying to do this right-handed so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Go around. Just take my time. And if you want to go fast, that's okay, but I like going slow to make sure I get it just right. And if you run out of paint, that's going to be good because it changes the color of it at the very top. And I'm going right on the line that we just drew. And I'm going to go all the way around. Just little marks. Just like that. If it's longer or shorter, that'll be okay too. Now the next step, I am going to take my light blue again. I'm going to dip it in the paint. And I'm going to make a, some right here because it's so thin. I'm going to go right beside it and make some more stripes. But when I get to about right here, I'm going to start making uh, my wide little strokes, strokes just like this. And I'm still using my smaller brush. And if it runs out, that's fine. And you don't have to use any of your water right now to rinse out your brush because we're going to be using this color several times around, okay? Just like that. 
You see how it's fading out? That's good because that just gives it more dimension for your wave. And if you kind of go crooked, that's okay too. I'm just gonna pick it back up and get closer to this line again. What you're looking for is light and darkness. The light and the darkness between each of your strokes. If you did one long one, then you, you defeat the purpose. So just go right around, just like this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go further down now that my line is there. I'm gonna go further down my page just like this. Now, we're gonna do our next stroke, and we're gonna do the same stroke that we did here and go all the way around. So watch what I do. And now, remember, I'm using my smallest brush, okay? I'm going right here because the line is right here. I'm gonna just put a little, a little stripe, a little line right there, but then I'm gonna finish doing this. And if you're having a hard time holding your brush, you can hold it like this or like this. I think it's a little harder if you do it up here, but that is okay. So let's start again. We're going to, and try to get as close to this other, uh, this other stroke, but not covering it completely. You want that little space of white to be there. So we'll go around, and we're still using the lighter color. But as you do these brushes, just paint what feels natural to you. about Miss Thomas. When she was 89 years old, she started this type of painting because she had arthritis in her hands and it was harder for, for her to paint like she used to. So she went into painting think, uh, strokes like this. It helped her be able to paint. It got to be a time in her life that she was hardly able to paint because of her hands, but she tried every day do her very best and I love that she came up with these type of strokes. Okay, now we're ready for a next um, a next stroke. And I'm gonna move over to my bigger brush and I'm gonna go to my ne the next color I'm gonna use is my my medium blue. Okay? Because as the sun comes through and the waves come over, the shades are starting to change. So we're going to go to a medium blue, and I'm going to take my larger brush, and I am going to do stripe. I'm going to just do lines, and I'm going to do a longer line. I'm going to start here, way up here, just to finish that line out. And your lines that you drew help you keep in line with what you're painting. And if you get off the lines, that is okay. And I'm going to do these long lines. How up here we did short, we're going to do long ones now. And I'm staying as close to this next line as I can. We just want little light showing. This also is a fun way. As you'll notice, you'll go, well, this looks like mosaic art. In a way it is because when you do mosaic work, you're cutting uh, brushes and uh, your, your stones or your glass in different shapes. So in a way, this does look like mosaic. Now we're gonna do the same stroke again in the same, the, the, um, this medium blue, just the same stroke around, okay? So I'm going to take my color and I'm going to start right here at the center where I was, right up the top where I was. I'm just going to make long little strokes. And if you just, when you're at home and you're doing this, right now we're showing you exactly what to do. But if you're at home and you want to make a different stroke while you're going around the different parts, that is fine and dandy. We're doing it like this because we want to show you exactly how this works. I'm going to 
switch to my white hand just so that you can see that stroke to the very edge. Here we go. We're going to do the same brush. The sm Let's go to your smaller brush, your one fourth inch brush. And we're going to continue with this medium blue right here. Now, if you, for some reason, you have a line that stops right here, uh, that's fine. Um, just continue on into that line, okay? Just continue on into that line. I have, my line goes way over here, but if you're stopped right here and the other curve comes here, just keep going right on there. Just finish it out, okay? Don't worry about it. Just stop, what I'm saying is just stop it to wherever your line is. So I'm gonna do the small stroke again. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do a little single, and then I'm gonna start the small stroke. This. And sometimes when you put the paintbrush in, it will widen a little bit. That just gives it more character. Just gives it more character. Now I want to do one, I want to do a, several more strokes in this blue right here. I think that would be very pretty. Uh, and then we'll go into a darker color. So I'm going to go back to this. And I'm going to go into, I'm going to use my, um, my large brush and I'm going to do some more lines just like this. And I'm going pretty slow just for you, but this is, you can go as quick as you like to get to do this. And I'm going to do another line after this. Whoop, wrong one. Keep, keep a watch out. But you know, it probably wouldn't hurt if I did that anyhow. Just give it some more colors. All right, got that. Now let's go to our tiny brush. And then we're gonna go and do our light blue again. And you might be running out of space, that's okay. Just start making your lines a little thinner. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do on the stroke. And I'm gonna do little dashes this time. Turn my brush up and I'm gonna just do little dashes all the way around. And make this as little as possible. Everybody knows how to make a dash. I hope you'll take time to look at your uh, oh, pictures of uh, waves and see how much yours is going to look like those on photographs. Or if you ever get to go to the ocean, the best place to see beautiful colors like this in oceans is stand in Florida or Hawaii have all these beautiful colors. All right. Okay. Now, we're going to go to our next, even though I didn't fill this all out, that's okay, because that's going to help with the color. Uh, we're going to go to our next blue, which is this right here. And I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm not going to wash my brush. And this is the darker blue right here. And we're going to go around. And I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go to my bigger brush and um, start with that. I'll put a little color on here. And um, so I'm gonna just start with the darker blue. See that darker blue? And if you want it a little bit lighter, that, then you, you can do that. But when the waves come over, it just gets darker while it's in the turn of that um, wave. So I'm gonna start out. And I'm gonna, because this is so thin right here, I am just gonna do just some little smaller strokes. And actually, it looks a little bit lighter than the paint when you're doing it, but I like that darker color. And you see I'm making this line right here, but that's okay, because that's where that's gonna stop. And I'm just gonna continue on, just with my strokes, all the way down just like 
that. If you feel like you need to fill in a space, that's okay too. We'll make little small strokes. Now I'll show you something on mine. Look at this. When you get to this edge right here and there's a line, that's okay. Just go over it like we've done in our other paintings. I might do a line here. I'll just go and I'm going to follow this all the way over. I'm going to follow that shape just like that. Finished. Good. Now we're gonna take an. I'm gonna take another. I'm gonna do another. Uh, I'm going to, because this is ending here. I'm gonna do a stripe, just like that, a line. And because it stops here, I'm gonna stop it there. But I'm gonna continue down here. And this changes every time because of the way we. Um, our lines go, things just change a little bit. And see how I've got that space right here? I'm just gonna fill it in with lines and shapes. So now we're going to change over to our darker blue. And you're going to want to, I think right now because this is so big, let's go with our larger brush. Okay? I think that will be fun. Now, we're going to start, we're going to move this, we finished the blue. And we're going to go to the dark, it's like a dark purple. If you want a little lighter, that's okay, but it doesn't have to be. I like that darker color, it really shows up in our picture. So. I am. Look how good it's looking so far. Everybody's just looking so good. Okay, we'll dip it in with the darker color. And because I put a stripe here, I'm going to, because of this, I'm going to just do just a stripe here to get past that. And then I'm going to do my, um, I'm going to do my shape, my shapes, my long straight shapes, just like this. a little light in between my strokes. You see how I got off my white a little bit? That's okay, got off my line a little bit, that's okay. Does not matter. Okay, go ahead. Now, let's do a, we did stripes. Okay, let's do another uh, space. Let's do spaces next to this one. I'm doing a stripe here to get by. Then we'll do a space. Do my spaces. Just like this. Keep on doing your thing. Now, if you have, still have space in your um, this section right here, I would suggest doing a line. So right on that line, I would do the stripes, the little, the little, um, the little marks, the little lines. Now we're going to do our teal, and it's going to, our teal is going to go right here, and remember we're going to do lines and strokes, strokes and lines, lines and strokes. So, let's get started. Okay. 
And I'm going first. I'm going to do lines, just like this, all the way down. Sometimes the lines help uh, define what area is what. And if you need to add a little, this needs a little water. I'm going to add a little water real quick. If your paint's dry out, add a little water. And then I'm going to go. And I'm going to use my smaller brush. And I'm going to start going to shapes. I'm going to add more water to our paint. Let me stir it up for me. Thank you. Sometimes our paints dry out. Got it? Okay. All right. Y'all can be using this as I do it. Okay. And then I'm going to remember to dry your brush out if it got too wet. And I'm going to do another line just like this. strokes after that line and we'll do strokes. Just follow along. If you want to do whatever you and then the last thing I'm gonna do is finish up down here and I'm just gonna do lines just like that. Just like that. Now we're going to go back to our lighter blue. I'm not going to wash my paintbrush. I'm just going to stick it in. Thank you. And I'm going to stick it in. And I'm going to go with, I'm going to up here, I'm going to do a line here, but I am going to do strokes. And I'm going to do long strokes. And you can use your, whichever is easier at this point, if you need to use your wide brush to cover more space, you can, or to use your smaller brush. My brush tends to widen out, it's a little softer. And what this does, with not washing your brush, helps keep, bring that color over to the next shade, which I think is beautiful when you do it this way. And I'm gonna do a line. I'm doing this line, a long line, but you can do short line or a long line, whatever works best. And I'm gonna do line, and I'm gonna do that stroke, my strokes, just like this. Part to finish this line out, I'm going to do some lines just like this. And I'm going to come down here when I finish that line up. I notice I need to add space, so I'm going to add little small strokes right in here, just like that. It is really starting to look like an ocean, it's a big wave. It looks great. I'm washing my brush after my blue, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my um, brush. And I have a space up here that I'm gonna put in gr lime green. Uh, if you have that space, you can do it too. Here's the lime green. You can use it right in here. If you don't have that space up here, you don't have to do it. This depends on how you drew it. And I did, so I'm gonna put it lime green because um, a lot of times when the sun comes through the ocean, through the wave, uh, it ha the sea looks similar to this color. It's got some of this green in it. And um, and it's because of the sun hitting the blue that so causes that. Just like that. Now, we're started, ready for the... Um, we're ready for the start of the sun. Now, I want you to wash your brush really good if you can. And I'm gonna start out with my uh, smallest brush. And I'm gonna take my orange. 
a darker color of yellow is what I call it. And I am going to make a great big orange circle. Just like this. Not too big, but big enough. Now the sun, different parts of the day, have different colors. It has oranges and yellows and lights and different times of the morning and night you'll kind of see those different colors from the sun. Now, after I did my big circle, very good. I am going, that's pretty good right there. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go to, we finished, we're going to go, what we're going to do is back and forth. Orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, okay? So, because it's the sun shining through our ocean that's giving us all these beautiful colors. So I guess I'm gonna keep my orange right here because this is always have orange in it. And I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna do my lines. And I'm gonna do the shape. I'm using my little brush right now. Gonna go, I'm gonna skip over my orange and do the next orange. Okay, dope. And remember, we're doing strokes and lines, strokes and lines. So use your smallest brush if you need to. So I'm gonna do some lines. Stroke. Do another stroke down this, keeping it pretty close to the next stroke. Just like that. I'm going to change over to line. And I'm going to do two lines. I'm going to make sure I've got that. I brush, sometimes you get so much paint on it, it starts globbing up like mine did. So I'm gonna scrape my brush to make sure it's just right. See how globby I got it? Cause I should have wiped my brush off. So we'll do another line. And then I'll go back and I'm gonna do a stroke. Right here at the top. Sometimes when you're, when, when you forget to do it, you can it's you can just spread it around to make it I think that would be smooth. fine, just like that. I'm going to do another right here. I'm going to start another stroke. I'm going to finish this one with a line. Another line. Remember, I'm going to wipe my brush off so I don't get blocked. to the next one. You can switch in between your larger brush or your smaller brush. At this point, it doesn't matter. Remember, I've made a glob there, so I should have wiped my paint off. Miss Belinda. Miss ma'am. There is a little green in the orange. That's okay. It just makes part of the sun. Short strokes. Yes. Like These short strokes. The next one I'm doing short strokes. You might want to do lines. Actually, it depends on if you want to do lines or strokes. But I think it's kind of cool when you have two types of strokes that are the same next to each other. Kind of We'll do a long line here just because I want to. You can do short or long. And I'm gonna do a long stroke this time. If I had my bigger brush, I'm gonna do a long stroke. Just like that. Just change it up a little bit. We'll do another one. Over and do another line. And 
you doing every other one? Mm -hmm. You're good. You're good. To see how the different strokes uh, form, the different, um, see how the strokes are forming a different shapes when you do yeah. this, see how pretty that looks. I'll skip Can over you go to, to the, the yellow. Not yet. Okay. 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 One more. If you see, I've had some stuff up here that I left. I'm not gonna make that sun. I'm gonna make that a light, light, light um, 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 blue green. I'll finish. This is my last one for the orange. Y'all, y'all are doing really good on yours. I love the way it looks. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do yellow all the way around. Okay. You don't have to empty your, clean your brush. You might want to spread, get some of the paint off of it, but you don't have to, you do not have to change colors. So we're going to go to yellow, and we're going to uh, do the same thing we did with the orange. We're going to go around and do the same thing with the yellow. And I'm not going to do yellow here. I'm going to do something different, okay? Now, let's do that. And I'm going to put my yellow right here. And when we get through, we'll finish the yellow around the, the middle section of the orange on our, where the sun actually is. I like the way the colors blend in together when you don't wipe the brush out. Yeah, looks really so pretty. Cute. And then if you, if you wipe it off a little, it turns into a yellow, turns into a light gold mm -hmm. color. It is real pretty, isn't it? Remember, if it gets kind of mushy, you want to wipe your brush off. You get so it'll be more of a line and not a blob of paint. See, I almost did it again. I love the way y'all are turning out. It's just beautiful. Remember, it's just strokes, different size strokes, and different size lines that you're doing with your paintbrush, okay? That's all you have to remember. That's what makes this artwork so fun and so quick. And you can take as long as you want. Forget you can go off the sides, it does not matter. And you can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this short one like I did these. And I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to do a long line to show you that you can do the long lines. Longer than the short ones. And I think that just makes another dimension in your artwork. See how I'm making those long lines. And then I'll make it long. Okay, now this is the last one. I'm going to make some 
short sunfish marmalade. If y'all are finished, just put your brush down and we'll get to the next part. Okay, now we're ready for the center. All right, now I'm gonna take, finish up with my yellow and I'm gonna go around the sun and I'm gonna use different strokes, just like this. All the way around. Y'all go ahead and y'all can start doing yours. Different strokes, different lines, and go all the way to the end of your uh, color right here. Remember, try to keep your lines as close to each other as you can. You don't want a lot of white left. Because you won't, might not be able to tell. Just like that. There. I like that. Now, what I want you to do now, what we're going to do when we finish the sun, there's one last step and we will be finished. I want you to take the lightest color that we have, which is right here, and it's a mixture of your teal. It's a mixture of your wipe, clean your brushes really good, get it clean. And we want to go with the lightest teal to put right in this area right here. You see I had some sun lines, but I changed, I decided I want to do sun up that quick. And I am going to, if it dries out, just take some of your teal that you already have and add it to some white that you already have and get it as light as you can, just like that. See how light I made it? Didn't have to be, just add some teal to some white, just like that. And I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna do my light. See how light that is? But it shows up really pretty in the end. You don't have to start out with a sticky brush in there, yeah. just like that. And I'm gonna do wide brushes because I really want that to show through. Just like that. And later when you look at it, it will give it a neat little fold into the, into the um, color. And that is it. That is our painting and look how great it turned out. And I know yours will be just as good. And I hope that you will share your pictures with us by um, putting them online, sending them to us so we can see what they look like. I can't wait to see your artwork. I am so glad we got to paint today. Y'all did an awesome job with your artwork. And I can't wait to see you next week and get to do the next great project. We love you. Have a great day. I can't wait to see your artwork. I hope you do post it for us, okay? See you later. We love you. God bless you. Bye. You're the best. <laughs>